I am back in the car. <laughs> Let's roll! Um, I am on my way. I'm trying to decide where I want to go. So like I, I don't like Walmart. Like I really don't. I like, I appreciate Walmart's prices. Trying to set my camera up right, but I, I feel kind of like I'm a little bit on the struggle bus right now. Um, I appreciate Walmart's prices, especially because like there's some stuff I feel like you can get from Walmart that is less expensive than it would be at Target or possibly somewhere else. But on the other hand, like sometimes I just feel like, is it worth like the struggle when you go to Walmart? Like shit is messy. The lines are always ridiculous long. I'm sorry, I don't care what time of day you go to Walmart. Like I've, I don't think I've ever gone to the Walmart in my area and just been in and out. Like never. But I'm also balling on a budget today. And like I really don't plan on spending a whole lot of money. My husband makes fun of me because when I say the word budget, for some reason it makes him laugh as if I don't know how to stick to a budget. <laughs> as if I like overspend even when I set a budget. Anyway, so I'm in route right now and I guess I'm probably gonna end up going to Walmart. It's been a while now, I'm mixing up the drink. I just need a girl who gonna really understand. I just need a girl who gonna really understand. I'm good, I'm good, I'm great. It's been a while now, I'm mixing up If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you know that I get absolutely hype whenever I park next to a basket because, like, I'm a mom and I have little kids and sometimes I hate when I have to go really far carrying like both the kids or the car seats or whatever I have to carry and there's no damn basket in sight so I feel like it is a complete score when I pull up on a parking stall and it's got a basket like already chilling but um yeah I'm not really scoring right now because this little dude who basically decided that it was a fantastic idea to wake up at six o'clock this morning is knocked out sleep for his nap so there goes the day because now his nap is all screwed up i put the baby's carrier inside the diaper bag yesterday on my way into my parents house so I actually left that at home when usually it's in the car so he's sleeping she's awake she hates her car seat she screams her head off and now I have to go inside of the stores yeah I feel like I'm basically just set up for freaking failure right now like that is how I honestly feel like this is not okay right now you guys I'm gonna get my life though I'm gonna get my life this is not okay I Okay, well, I guess it's gonna be a bit of an adventure. <laughs> adventure time! <laughs> oh, wonderful. So, see the guy right there, like collecting baskets? I made it just in time, too, because he would have tried to jack me. You guys see that guy right there? Like, he thought he was ready to come over here and get my basket. I just need a girl who gon' really understand. I just need a girl who gon' really understand. And I seen her get picture on the pole. I've seen her, I know she had a know. I've seen her take down. Oh, yeah. 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 Is this a kitty Keurig? How freaking cute is that? get a frappe from McDonald's because those are the bomb. Mocha frappe. A large mocha frappe. Yes, and can I add peppermint, please? Add peppermint? Yes. Okay. And that is all. Alrighty, I will have a total for you at the very first window. Thank you. So I just wanted to say, like, thank you to you guys that... 
So I just wanted to say thank you to you guys that were like Hi. so nice and kind with your words of encouragement because I know I was on one yesterday. Like I just wasn't really feeling it and I was having one of those moments like you know just one of those normal breakdown moments that I think that we all go through but you know what you guys left such like positive and nice stuff in the comment section and thank you for you guys that follow me on snapchat you guys were sending me like positive messages and comments like all day yesterday and so that was really nice and I just wanted to let you know that I definitely appreciate you guys for being so kind to me because I was tripping. I wasn't tripping. I just, I feel like, you know, I always think about my life. I always think about ways to better my life. I always think about, you know, what I can do to be a better person, what I can do to be a better mom, to be a better wife, to be a better daughter, a better friend. And, you know, like I'm all for setting goals. I'm all about affirmations. I'm all about just positive everything. You know, we're human. So we fall off. We're human. So we don't get it right every day. We're human. So, you know, I mean, like to just keep it real, like we fuck up and we don't always do great all the time. And I think that, you know, especially with Usember, you know, I. I took this on because I have notebooks and notebooks and notebooks, you guys, full of writings, full of notes, full of all kinds of stuff from when I was teaching classes. And so for those of you that don't know or that aren't aware, um, I was a sensuality coach and movement instructor for six years. Um, I taught pole dance as well as I did sensuality coaching for women. and. Y'all don't even know, like, I have had several hundred women cross my path that I have helped change their life in some kind of way through the art of sensual movement. And it's a lot to explain, so I'm not even going to try to go into it or get into it right now because I can't even break it down. But just know that my pole dance and my movement classes were fitness classes and while pole dancing became really mainstream and it was something fun to do and women did it for bachelorette parties and birthday parties and i did those too i i did i'm um, i'm still a party presenter i haven't had a party to do in a really long time does anybody want to have a pole dance party because i like would love to come and do that for you but <laughs> Um, ah, there's a bee, and why did I jump as if it was gonna fly through the window and get me? Are my windows up? <laughs> I took my job as a sensuality coach very seriously because I had a lot of women come to me who did not feel sexy, who had no confidence, who, you know, were not doing well in their marriages, who, and just all of these things and honestly you guys if you don't know you better freaking find out that unlocking and tapping into your sensuality unlocks the fullness of life like that really is all I can say and when I speak of sensuality I'm not speaking of sexuality I'm not speaking of sex I'm not speaking of when I say sensuality I am namely talking about living your life fully through your five primary senses seeing smelling tasting feeling and really just enjoying all that life has to offer like that's about living a luscious delicious and sensual fulfilled life anyway is y'all about to get me started like i'm so passionate about my work but the point is i have so many things written down in notebooks about confidence about life about setting goals about you know changing your life about vision boards about doing better about living on purpose on fire about living like deliciously and about loving the life that you live and you know i always have to check in with myself and ask myself am i living a life i live and i mean we we've got so much going on and we're such givers and we do for so many people and for everyone that you know sometimes we've got to take that time to sort of step back and just really like take care of ourselves and i'm a big stickler for self-care and I think that what was happening was I haven't been getting enough self-care and enough personal time to journal and to like check in with myself and so when I don't get that time to check in with myself and it all comes crashing down I'm like I'm a failure and I'm not doing anything and I'm not happy about you know all that shit starts happening so anyways now that I've gone on like an extra super long tangent about whatever yeah 
thank you guys for listening and for you know just all of your nice comments yesterday so i just got inside the 99 cent store i swear i got a basket out of the parking lot and it's the most raggedy basket on the planet it's so freaking loud like what a hot mess i woke penny mini up because the wheel is like wiggling off. <laughs> I think she went back to sleep. I got fake people showing fake love to me straight up to my face. We <laughs> hurry up and get home because uh, Samaya is getting ready to get out of school. So tonight is Tuesday. Y'all know what that means. It's Taco Tuesday. I think I'm gonna film a what's for dinner for you guys and I'm gonna do like a whole video on how I do my tacos like I think tonight we're just having turkey tacos but I do all kinds of taco tacos are my freaking favorite thing to eat I think I think if I had to choose a favorite food it would definitely be tacos because I like all kinds of tacos like chicken tacos and turkey tacos and ground beef tacos and carnitas tacos and carne asada tacos and al pastor tacos and like every other kind of freaking taco mashed potato tacos have you guys ever had potato tacos so I never had a potato taco until I went to my aunt's house one time and she was telling me that like I guess back in the day when, you know, like times were hard, potatoes are inexpensive and so are tortillas. And, you know, obviously like your fixings aren't that expensive. It doesn't cost much to buy lettuce and tomatoes and, you know, I guess cheese might be a little expensive, but not if you only need a little bit. She would cook um, mashed potatoes and season them up really really good and then you throw them in a taco shell and you add lettuce and you add tomatoes and you add cheese or whatever else you would put on a taco taco sauce and y'all let me just be the first to say that potato tacos are freaking bomb like if you've never tried a potato taco definitely try one matter of fact i think i might make some of those tonight too just because i'm talking about it so yeah i think maybe look forward to a video on potato tacos as well so I just pulled up at home I'm about to get out so my <laughs> what <laughs> are you doing <laughs> um hey there <laughs> This is exactly why I just bought that Pro Style. Cause when that Pro Style is in here, it don't be flying away like that. I can get on the world's fastest roller coaster and get off and slick, 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 rick. <laughs> this is one of my favorite Christmas songs. you guys tomorrow I gotta get off this thing and get to editing so hope you guys have a really great and fantastic Tuesday go eat some tacos and I will see you guys tomorrow bye um what the hell am I trying to say I just completely lost my train of thought tacos 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 
Oh, what was that? Did Penny Mini fart? Are you farting? <laughs> I put the baby's carrier inside of the car seat yesterday. The car seat. Get your life, Eddie. Get your whole life. I should have turned back there. <laughs> Why are my kids always doing like random stuff to me? What do you mean? We don't do anything to you. Um, anyway. <laughs> What a day. Not a creature was stirring. Not even a mouse. In my mind. <laughs> 